following contest is scheduled for one fall. On What's the going way to on the here? Ring, at a combined weight of 400. Oh, and now we have a brawl on our hands. Oh, yeah. They didn't need the match to start to make a point. A truly punishing stretch. done as he gets out of the submission. Call me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Backbreaker. Ouch. He's not looking like himself here. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and goes back more motivated than ever. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Butterfly suplex, the end is near. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sideboard. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double counter. No matter what tool you're using to gauge its impact, Adam Cole appearing at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3 changed the entire NXT landscape. Just ask Drew McIntyre and the other losers who've fallen victim to Adam Cole. Oh boy, he is rolling. Amazing move there. Not too long ago, Corey brought up Adam Cole's historic debut attack on Drew McIntyre. 
The devastation that followed that attack was an incredible display of strategy and strength at every level. I've been ringside for hundreds of NXT broadcasts, and there it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Comes in off the tag. No, there's the reversal. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the heart. This could be all she wrote. He's making a statement. Oh, oh. Spinning heel kick. I'd have rocked anybody. Now that's what I call making a statement. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Back when the Undisputed Era came to NXT, they gave Roderick Strong a chance to team with them. It took a long time for Strong to make the decision the Undisputed Era wanted, but when he did, it was a shock to the system. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Michael bringing up Roderick Strong's shocking decision to join the Undisputed Era. It reminds me of how I used to think Roderick Strong had the biggest heart in NXT. But he sold it. And for what? To take the easy way? To be part... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Picture perfect drop kick. This has been a war. Counter here. Why oh, do they end up on the announce table? Look out, guys! Oh, my. His signature slam. That's how you wear down your opponent. for it a second time. In off the tag. What athleticism. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. Instinct. That's the only thing keeping these teams standing at this point. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's getting roughed up pretty bad here. This is not where he wants to be at this point in his tag team match. This has been one of the most intense back and forth battles I've seen in a long time. And unfortunately for him, it's not looking so great right now. Here he goes. There's no recovery from that. Game, set, match, this one is over. He wants no part of the outside. Oh, drop kick! Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Oh man, 
what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. This is every bit as painful as it appears. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Escapes trouble there. That was such a hard fall. That could take all the energy right out of you. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Back in the ring again. Perfect timing on that Hurricane Rana. He's looking shaky. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Unleashing it for the second time now. Oh, elbow. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. When this guy's on, look out. Adam Cole, this is gonna be big! Tell me about it. Boom! This is his opportunity to win this thing. And he lands a savage elbow. one person to take. I don't care how tough you are. This one is in the books. There's the code breaker. But he's got to capitalize now. Showing off his vertical with that drop kick. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Uh, I think this is the beginning. You gotta love the lowdown. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. What an incredible tag team contest. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here are your winners, The Disaster and Big Bad Haas, The Club. What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match there toward the end. No wonder these guys won. They work together like they've been teaming up since birth. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight.